Hello. Why do we get doubt? Or why do you get doubt? You get doubts because of these many things. You do not have any kind of knowledge about a thing. You do not have experience about a thing. And you are not aware of a particular thing. Hence, you can have a doubt. The second kind of doubt is that the doubt is created from an external agency which you thought was not important for you in this life. So you had a kind of ignoring attitude towards that particular thing. So doubt has been created by this external agency in you that you do not know that particular thing. And the next doubt is because of a thing which you know but you are not sure that whether which thing that you know is the real thing or is there something beyond that. But though these are the reasons for doubting, people ask for doubts for these many reasons. The first reason why a person doubts or questions his doubt is to know, to be aware. The second reason why a person questions his doubt is to check what he knows is correct or wrong. The third point why a person questions his doubt is to prove that the other person what he knows or not. The first reason if you are doubting something, there is an urge within you which rises to know something better, which is a good sign for improvement. The second kind of doubt is also to some extent good because you are going to recheck whether whatever you have known is right or wrong which is some kind of analysis based doubt or recheck of a doubt or updation of a knowledge which you had thought was best. The third kind of doubt most of the times happens to prove that the other person doesn't know. This happens because of a particular thing which you already know and you want to prove that you know something better than the other person. I said these lines in bold letters underlined by proving something that you know you do not grow much. Instead, if you get to know something from the other person, it adds value for your knowledge because there is some knowledge within you and there is some kind of knowledge coming from external sources. Keep in mind, things are going to come from out for much of your life and it is going to crystallize within you and it is going to settle in you for some time. Your life has to be like a flute, a bamboo, a bamboo so empty that it doesn't have so much of things within, but it takes inside itself whatever kind of air comes into it. But the kind of air that from whichever direction it comes goes out of that bamboo as music. 
So all the kinds of doubts that you give, all the kinds of doubts that rise from your depths of life has to rise from the emptiness of your life. If that is going to be the case, all the informations, all the knowledge, all the intelligence, all the wisdom that you're going to get will be a music for this life. And then if anybody is coming in contact with you, they will feel your music. They will feel your melody. I'm not saying here that you shouldn't have doubts, but doubt should be in the way of attaining something new. If you're not having this intention when doubting a particular thing, you will not grow for sure. So I say here, doubts will result in growth only if the intention is to know something more than what you actually know now. So have always doubt, but do not self-doubt. Self-doubt will bring you down doubting outside to know something more will take you high so i wish you could reach heights soon by doubting everything <laughs>